Alright guys, here we are with part 3 of the Christmas tree ornament tutorial. So, last time we dealt with this. And I'm not really all that happy with the lighting system. It's This lamp is... not. I, I need to turn the energy up back to 1 for this one. And then bring this down some. You know what, let's just put the energy back to 1 on both of these. If they need it, just bring this further back and over. And bring this one further back too. And over. So that should be good. Ah, good enough. So it looked better with the materials. So select the sphere here. Go to materials. Add new. Now we're not going to deal with any of this right now. We're just going to go to color ramps, color band. You want to go over here and click this one here. I dealt with color bands on the Alan the Alien tutorial, so if you don't know exactly, just go ahead and look for that. It's under, I made a playlist for it. Let's go ahead and turn the alpha all the way up here before I do anything else. And let's go to input here, select normal, so that this color is on the inside, and then this side, this color is on the outside. So let's go ahead and turn this color. I like red ornaments, so let's go ahead and make that. This one red, and then let's give this one white. So that's cool. And I'm going to be rendering rendering quite a bit here. So just to make sure everything looks okay, that background is bothering me. So let's go ahead and fix that up just a little bit better. Select blend and let's turn this bottom one here uh, gray. And then let's turn this one all the way back. Let's make this a little bit darker. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's put stars on just because. Okay, so now let's go over to textures, add new, clouds, go back over here, let's go to map 2, turn normal on and put that at, I don't know, oops, sorry, 0.75, uh, 0.8 is good, no, 0.75 is okay, and let's turn this color to black, and um, yeah, let's go ahead and test that out. I just want to make sure before I make something and it doesn't look very good. Um, okay. Let's go back over to texture here. Go down here to the second one. Add a new one. Let's just make this one noise. Let's turn off color. Turn normal on. And put this to one. Actually, no. We can turn color back on. Let's turn the color to white so it looks like there's little white fuzzy things on it. And let's go ahead and fix the specularity. Let's turn hard on a little bit. Oops, sorry. Let's turn hard a bit higher. And specularity just a bit. Well, no, not really. I want to bring this red over a little bit more and turn, change this. Okay. And bring this over some more. So you can see how it's going to look here. So, one more time. Okay, what's up with that? That looks weird. Specularity is up way too much. Okay, that's a lighting issue, so we need to fix that. Let's bring this light over more like that. Hmm, uh, could that be clouds? Let me see here. Yeah, that's probably the clouds texture that I had. So, go ahead and turn the color off. It wasn't doing anything anyway. Hmm. I'll just. It's not worth getting in all that. I'll just rotate around it. Just move over here. Fix the light in a second. Hmm. Seems to be there too. Oh well, I'll do with that later. Okay, so now let's move on to this top part. This is really easy. We're just going to use a tune shader here. So press tune. Let's go and make this white. And tune, just to see how it's going. And let's turn the size up here. Well, not that much. Turn smooth up and turn the size up here. Let's see how that looks, because, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just making a nice thing you can show your family or something. 
I don't want this to be tune or was it this one? No, it was I want this to be tune and I want this to be something else. I don't want it to be black. Let's see how this goes. Let's just see. I really don't want this to be four parts, but I need to really hurry up. Hmm, not getting what I want here. Uh, I'll just have to use two. Okay, bring the size down a lot. Smooth two and the specularity. Oops. Just mess around with it till you get something cool. Um, hmm, that's starting to look a little more metallic-y. One thing you want to do is you want to select this and you want to put the emit value to 0.1 too. Makes it look a lot better. I don't know. I think there might be a really, well, not 0.1, maybe 0.05. I don't know. There might be a really short fourth part. Sorry, I don't want, I didn't want this to be long, but it looks like it, it's going to turn into that. Okay, let's go back up here. Um, let's go ahead and sharpen this up. Let's turn this smooth all the way down. Oops, not size. I want to smooth down. I feel that's working for us here. Oh, well, let me just revert back to what we had and just leave it alone for now. Okay, so let's go ahead and select this. Give this a yellow. Let's just turn blue down, red and green all the way up. Perfect yellow. So, same here. Tune, tune. Turn the size down here. Just turn the size up. And, um, see how that's working. Just, you know, messing around. See, you get this cool, kind of cool, toony look, but you know, I want a little bit more realism. So, well, it's not very real, but still. Okay, let's just trade this up here. Tune and go tour. Spec up. And the heart up. Size down if this. Mm. Let's see. I made this look really good earlier. I'm trying to remember the settings I had. Because I always go through stuff. Mm, I need to hurry up here. Yeah, this is definitely going into another part. Sorry. But it's just going to be really short, the next one. I'm just going to deal with really quick compositing. You know what? It doesn't need to go into another part. I'm just going to pause it and then show you the... No. Well, yeah. I'm just going to pause it and then show you the, the values I got. So, see in a second. Okay, so go ahead and turn smooth. Have both of them on tune. Put smooth to 0.1, size to 0, specularity to 0.8, smooth on top to 0.4, size 0.1, uh, 1.1. And reflection 0.6. So, and another thing, turn tangent on. Let's go ahead and turn tangent on this top one too. Let's just see how that looks really quick. Gotta hurry up. Oh, just keep tangent off there. So now that we have all this done, let's go ahead and press do composite. Go over here to the node editor. Go over here to composite nodes. Use nodes. Move these over. Click this. Press uh, viewer here backdrop so you can see what's going on now this is just the previously rendered thing so go to filter blur 25 here 25 oops 25 there um fast gauze or gauge gaussian blur that's what that stands for go to rgb curves like that with this let's go ahead and bring this down bring this over here and let's go ahead and add another one here right clicking Okay, now let's mix these two. So shift click these 
and go to color mix and this over here image here add turn this to one let's just mess around with this just a little little bit make it look better Okay, let's see how it's looking. Ooh. Okay, I got 40 seconds. Okay, that looks good enough. So, thank you guys for watching, and be sure to watch the ZBrush tutorials. I am going to do a few more Blender tutorials here and there when I feel like it, but we'll be making all the base meshes in Blender when we do make them. So, thanks for watching, and be sure to watch the future ones. Alright, guys, thanks. Bye.